Hey everyone, it's time for a fresh relaxer update. Welcome to the Crystal Rose Love Channel. So before I get into any details, let's cut right to the chase and you can see where my hair is right now. So I'll show you a picture of where my hair was at shoulder length and then where my hair is right now after a three and a half month stretch this time around. So here you go. All right, so after three and a half months, I normally do four months of a stretch. This time I did three and a half months, I think approximately, um, in order to um, just get it out of the way before the holiday season. So yeah, I'm happy with the relaxer. Um, we use Organic Root Simulator, Normal Strength, that's my normal relaxer. And so even though I shortened my stretch this time around, for the next stretch, I plan on doing five months. So I believe that would make it somewhere around the beginning of April when I'd be getting my next relaxer. So fingers are crossed that I can actually do that and pull that off without pulling my hair out in frustration. I don't think it's going to be that bad because stretching for me isn't actually bad. The longer my hair gets, I've noticed, the easier it is to stretch. I'm not quite sure why. I have a few theories about that, but definitely feel free to let me know in the comments below why you think that is because I am curious about that. As my hair has gotten longer, it's just so much easier to stretch. Um, it's easier for me to pull off like easy, quick ponytails and buns and so forth. So that's a whole thing. But um, yeah, I'm just happy with my hair progress. I have noticed that with this particular relaxer where my hair is now, um, the shorter parts of my hair are catching up with the longest part, which is somewhere around mid-back length. And so that's where my hair is now. The shorter parts are catching up. And of course, my end goal is going to be waist length. I'd like to maintain my hair at waist length. So I have some inches to go before I reach that. Um, but I am definitely aiming for that. So my journey is not over. It's not stagnating or maintaining at just mid-back. I plan to push my hair to the next level. So I just have to dig my heels in deeper. Um, just uh, dig my heels in deeper, do a lot more protective styles, stay a little bit more away from heat because I tend to dig into heat sometimes a little bit too much. I've noticed um, when I wanna pull off certain like sleek long hairstyles and I have to just go back to my usual like, you know, bunning and stuff like that. So, but the good thing is I haven't incurred um, a whole bunch of heat damage or anything. Um, this morning I did some split end trimming and I was actually pretty surprised by how few split ends that I had, um, but I still got rid of the ones that I did see. I don't have anything major to report in terms of any negative elements of of my hair regimen so far I really am just keeping up with the same old same old so I don't have anything very spectacular to report on but right now um, I'm in the next phase of pushing my hair for even longer length and so again it's length retention making sure that I am keeping up with my hair moisturizing with wrapping at night sometimes I forget that I've noticed increasingly so I have to just remember to do that no one's perfect um, you know moisturizing I said that already what else more bunning more protective styles and just staying more away from heat and I think I'll be good to go with this next journey that I'm on this next phase of growth towards waist length hair so ooh, waist length hair that should be fun um, I have noticed actually though that the longer my hair gets the more I am using my arm strength and I'm glad that I'm doing weight training and working out because my gosh having my hands up in the air like that for even longer is quite a task, but I am I am working it out. And so, yeah, that's a whole thing. So let me go ahead and take my trusty comb. This is a great comb for thick, thick hair. That is my length right now when it's swept over my shoulders. Um, very happy with it. It's somewhere like, like right there when it is swept over um, the sides of my hair. And I will pull that side over and just comb it out. And as you can tell, my hair has many layers in it. Um, but I love the way it's moving and the length is just really cool. I'm really excited about it. The cool thing too about the length and the length retention is that my ends are still pretty thick. And I'm happy about that because I've heard some horror stories where, you know, as girls with relaxed hair, they grow their hair longer and their, their ends get super, super thin. And I don't have a problem with that I'm, and I'm happy about that. So that's, I'm in the clear on that one. So two thumbs up. So yeah, that's pretty much my update. Thanks for watching. And I have more videos on the way. Let me know what you think in the comments below about this update and any video topics that you want me to cover. And that's it. Have a great holiday. Happy Thanksgiving. And I'll see you soon. Bye.